there's one. Alright guys, welcome back to another video today. I'm out in Mexico, I'm on vacation right now at a super nice resort. Everything's tropical, I got the, the outfit on and everything and I woke up early before all my friends get up to go fishing off the pier. So I've got my jerkbait tied on, I've got an extendable rod with some 12 pound model and apparently, I talked to another kid yesterday, there's all kinds of different fish that are swimming around the dock and swimming off the beach. So before anybody else is swimming out on this morning, I'm gonna see if I can go catch some big fish off the dock. This morning is kind of windy, so hopefully that doesn't have too much of an effect on everything. But should be able to get it done. Not sure if you're exactly allowed to fish, but there's the pier over there. The wind is gonna make this brutal. Oh boy. The wind is gusting. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Let's try fishing this jerkbait around here. See what tries to eat it. I got a little riprap on now. We're gonna see if this works. Oh my gosh. There's a freaking million. Look at them. Look at them. Oh my gosh, there's a million fish. They all just like, oh my gosh, you one just hit it. What the heck? Drop it back down there. Look at them all. They're trying to hit it. They're just tiny like little bait fish. I bet if I hook one of those, a big barracuda or something will come eat it. Try this out. Oh my gosh, just got broken off right there. Something just ate me right here and broke it, broke me off straight away. These fish have teeth, I'll tell you that. I got one, I got one, I got one. That's what's under there. Mangrove snapper, finally a fish. That's what we're looking at right there. That's a mangrove snapper, just a little one though. Crappie jig, so these guys are all over under there. I think that was what's coming out when trying to hit my uh, rip and wrap earlier. All right, let's drop it back down there. See what else is hanging in there, under the dock. Oh, it just got whacked right there. Just got eight right there. Oh, I just got hit again. Right there. Yep. Another one just hit it. Oh my gosh. Another one. Got him. That is a different snapper. Forgot what these guys are called. Let me know if you guys know. There's one. Smoked it. Oh, that's something different. Oh, is that a baby jack? He's croaking. Or maybe that's just a croaker, I don't know. That is uh, a new species for me. You see that little mark down there? That's from a barracuda or uh, or something else with teeth. I'm definitely gonna need some help identifying some of these fish. So if you guys can let me know in the comments what these species are, I have no idea. I don't get to fish salt saltwater very often, but everything's just under this dock. Well, the cool thing about vacationing here, I'm gonna put on this swim bait, is that everybody's from like different places of the world because it's Mexico. So I just talked with that runner over there. He's from like England or something. He had like a really strange accent. That was cool. He doesn't fish very much, but he was like wondering what I'm catching. So I'm gonna put on this bigger swim bait. Wind is still going crazy. And we're gonna try to catch like a snook or a tarpon or something. Okay, now I have a little bit heavier pound test on. This should help with the breaking off situation. There's one. Snapper. Oh, nice. A little bit bigger than the one I got earlier though. And yesterday I got bit by uh, a shark or something. Really? Right here. The black was good though because it contrasted. No, 
another one, dude. They're loaded right there. There's like a school of them or something. Oh, what is that? It's a grunt. Oh, nice. Have you caught these yet? Oh, yeah. I caught... I got like... What the heck? This is not a grunt. It is a grunt. It's like a white-nosed grunt or something. Look at... They're just like... Downing. Devouring. Oh, yeah, actually. Oh, well. Guys, there's really no escaping the wind. I'm trying to get out of it right here. But uh, so there's a massive, like all kinds of different fish right next to the dock. They stack up around it. There's bait balls, all kinds of stuff goes on. Today, it's the windiest day of the week that it's been. Sometimes it's flat calm. But when it's flat calm out there, the fishing is insane. So hopefully one of these days, I got a week here, uh, five more days or six more days, whatever, uh, to, to fish every morning. So we'll see what happens. You have caught uh, these. These are in your hand. Yeah, oh, these are. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Have a good one. Coconut. It's empty though. Oh boy. All right guys, well that's wrapping up day one for the fishing off the dock. Just a little morning session. Fished for like an hour, caught a bunch of different species. Nothing big though, because of the wind, so. We got some awesome weather today. Hopefully the wind is gonna actually cool down, but uh, temp is still hot and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Okay, I also need to mention at the dock, there's like a sign that says prohibited. We talk to workers, they don't care. So I don't know why that sign's there. Um, but yeah, I had to sneak my rods in. If you read in the title, snuck my rods into the resort. Cause you're not, you can't like bring like big rods like carrying them and like fitting them into like the, we took like a subway thing. We made all this work. So I have three rods. I, they're all tiny. I snuck them into my suitcase. I have a four piece, an extendable, and a pen rod. So I'm gonna try out the pen rod tomorrow and see if that works. And right here is a coconut wild. We found it last night, broke it open. And uh, that is coconut meat that you can just eat straight off the ground. So it's actually good too. But look at this beautiful view. We get to enjoy it literally from our room. Insane. <laughs> Alright guys, we're back again. Day two. It's a lot less windy today, so we have a lot less waves. I think the fishing is going to be a lot better, and there's going to be more fish pushed in shallow at the dock since they don't have to deal with all the waves and current. So I still got my swimming tight on. I'm going to struggle off with this. I also have the pen rod today and uh, my other extendable rod, so we'll see what we can catch. Look at this. So calm. This, oh, there's some right there. I think there's gonna be a lot of bait that's pushed up here by the structure under the dock. And there might be big barracuda, tarpon, all kinds of stuff swimming around here. This is a Precision Extreme Maverick 110 from Rapala. So I'm gonna try that out. That looks just like a saltwater minnow. Well guys, wasn't recording for one second. I casted the jerkbait out right here. It got slammed and broke off immediately. So it was something big, probably a big barracuda just snapped me off clean. So there goes the new $18 jerkbait I just bought, I think. So we will uh, put on another jerkbait. Papa Sabritas, same thing as Lay's.
How sick is this? These right here, prickly pear cactus. Super good eating and uh, super juicy. These little uh, knobs here, when they turn red, you can break them off, squeeze out the juice. Tastes amazing, but look at this view. Una iguana. Two. Oh, that's oh. Those mass Well, that trip flew by. Here we are back in Minnesota. Thank you guys for watching. I know I didn't film much or fish much like the whole vacation. I barely filmed any of it. We did so many activities, so many different things. We were there for six days. Absolutely awesome. Probably my favorite vacation ever. And now we're back in Minnesota with this horrible snow. So uh, hopefully the weather gets better here. So the fishing gets better here. I know I haven't filmed any videos for like the past month on any of my social media. So thank you guys for sticking around for that. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.